More often than not, I like to think of myself as spontaneous, but someone actually came along and challenged that spontaneity. This is how it went. Uh, and so, the adventure begins. So my friend Juliana hit me up on like a Wednesday and suggested we go to Austin, Texas the following Friday. Uh, I wasn't too keen on the idea. I just, I wanted to do something out of the ordinary, something different. And so I remembered that five hours west of Dallas, you could actually find the Monaghan Sand Hills. And as you can see, this place is just, it's just a big ass sandbox of just sledding and fun and desert dune having this if you will <laughs> uh honestly you you wouldn't even know this place was here if you were just driving down the 20 you would literally just pass it up uh it doesn't even look like it belongs and yet there it is after a short time of getting used to sledding and learning the ropes we uh we took to the other side of the park uh we wanted to find some real some real deal dunes some some mondo canandos and don't ask me what that means because i just made it up bro i know what y'all thinking what is he wearing bro this is fashion this is dior right here like like straight out of the motherfucking up from the 36 chambers she doesn't know what that is no wu clan ain't nothing to fuck with and so, as our journey continued, we found ourselves on the other side of the ancient Monhenian's grounds. Here, we encountered some truly duny dunes. Some dunes that were the duniest of them all. The only kinds of dunes that could leave a man truly doomed. And then we had a couple of cute bozos show up to the party and I just had to get a shot of them. Alright. Sliding was fun and all, but time for a little bit of food. Yes, it's it's time for some food and this motherfucker's vegan, so we're like, getting pho. They've combined the two best things. Italian and pho. <sighs> yep. They call me Senor Sandy Beard because my beard is Sandy. And now, what is about to commence is the start of my amazing and fruitful volleyball career. Hinata, the Flying Crows. I'm clipping y'all wings, son. Alright, maybe not, but it was worth a shot. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm not gonna let y'all sit through that. I got you. To be spontaneous, it takes a lot. You gotta really have an open mind, an open willingness to go beyond, to do things at a moment's notice, to really just truly live free um it's something i would like to be able to do more of really spontaneity can truly be the vessel that leads you to all types of memorable moments to to meeting new people to seeing new sights to 
to developing to growing sometimes you just gotta know how to say fuck it let's go somebody's like yo you trying to take this cross-country road trip you just gotta be like hell yeah son i mean assuming you got all your responsibilities in order but that's the whole point of trying to live free right but all in all i do plan on taking more spontaneous trips whether they're day trips weekend a week a month All we have is now, and I plan on living for the now. Because trying to live for the future just isn't guaranteed. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I almost forgot, no matter what you want to do, keep on charging ahead, keep doing what you do, and as long as you're alive, don't forget to live.